So a short video outlining the bimodal gamma, gamma prime in nickel recipe and image uh, that is found in our, uh, our recipe store. This recipe is made to identify uh, tertiary or secondary phases in this material. Uh, and this approach is a good example of how we would uh, look for phases or particles in material and separate them based on size uh, to help quantify this type of image. So the recipe itself is broken down into three chapters labeled secondary, tertiary, and, com and the combination. And we take a pretty simple approach where we uh, use an adaptive threshold and then manipulate this selection to give us an accurate uh, segmentation of the secondary phase which is primarily identified by its size. Uh, the tertiary, again, we, we take this approach where we use an adaptive threshold and we manipulate this to uh, do a, a inverse selection of what is identified as secondary. So if we go in here and we identify this as everything that is not secondary uh, must be the region where the tertiary phase is. So what we're able to do is identify the smaller particles using the adaptive threshold, clean this up a little bit. We call back our secondary, we dilate, invert, and then do a feature intersection to give us uh, the tertiary phase. Now we can uh, call these back and, and combine this and then if we set an, another an invert we can just call this our matrix and call this our matrix phase. So from here we're able to do things like uh, an area fraction measurement which gives us a phase fraction of this material. <clears throat> We're also able to generate feature measurements. So if I'm interested in the size distribution of the secondary phase, I'm able to generate that. And visualize it. I actually should probably uh, remove edge features if I'm looking for the size distribution of this. Um, so if I go to measure this, the, the distribution is going to look a little bit different because we had removed any partial segmentation. Again, this is a very uh, fundamental approach to uh, segmenting image where you have the presence of uh, particles which are only really differentiated on size and maybe some grayscale information. If you need help optimizing a recipe for your own images, uh, feel free to contact our application support staff. Thank you.